hello student welcome to learn more maths today i'm going to start a new chapter statistics uh, already you have familiar with this chapter in your previous class uh, student what have you learned in the ninth class uh, organization of the data difference between the ungrouped data and the grouped data so finding out a mean median and mode of the ungrouped data you have learned in your ninth class but what we learn in this chapter c student statistics today i am going to start statistics part one and an introduction to statistics so finding out a mean median and mode of the ungrouped data before that so we have these topics in this chapter student mean median and mode of the mean median and more of the group of data mean median mode of the group of data so we have to find mean median and mode of the group of data in this chapter student so we have three methods to find the mean of the group of data so direct method assumed mean method and step deviation method so we have to learn to how can we find using those three methods how can we find the mean of group of data using those three methods so next we have cumulative frequency curve student drawing cumulative frequency curves so these are ogive curves ogive curves so we have two types of ogive curves student here less than type and more than type so number one is a less than type of give curve less than type of give curve so and the second one is a more than type of give curve more than type of give curve so these topics we discuss in this chapter so so finding out a mean so to find the mean we have three methods student so but to find the median and mode we have only one method so after finding mean median and mode of the group of data we have to draw a g curves so less than type of g and more than type of g we can obtain median from the g curves so these topics we will learn in this chapter student so now i am going to start finding out mean of ungrouped data so c student mean of ungrouped data so how can we define mean so just we have to recall already you have familiar mean so mean is equal to sum of the all observations divided by total number of observations so mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by total number of all observations so mean is also known as arithmetic mean student so arithmetic mean arithmetic mean so am or it is also known as average average or arithmetic mean or mean so both are same student so it is denoted by mean is denoted by x bar mean is denoted by x bar so c student x bar is equal to what is the formula sum of the all observations sum of the all observations divided by sum of the all observations divided by total number of observations sum of the all observations divided by total number of observations total number of observations total number of observations so this is the formula we use to find the mean of ungrouped data so c student uh, now we have to find the mean of ungrouped data so these type of questions will come in examination student one mark questions very important so first one find the mean of the first five prime numbers like this these type of questions will ask in the examination for one mark so find the first mean of the or average of the find the average of the first five average of the first five prime numbers first five prime numbers 
सो सी स्टूडेंट हाउ कैन वी फाइंड द एवरेज ऑफ फर्स्ट फाइव प्राइम नंबर्स सो वाट आर द फर्स्ट फाइव प्राइम नंबर स्टूडेंट सो द फर्स्ट सोल्यूशन स्टूडेंट हाउ कैन वी फाइंड सोल्यूशन इज द फर्स्ट फाइव प्राइम नंबर आर टू थ्री फाइव सेवन एंड लेवन सो दीज आर द फर्स्ट फाइव प्राइम नंबर स्टूडेंट ही इज आस्किंग टू फाइंड द एवरेज ऑफ द फर्स्ट फाइव प्राइम नंबर एवरेज आर मीन बोथ आर सेम स्टूडेंट so here average x bar is equal to so what is the formula student sum of the all observations divided by total number of observations so sum of these are the observations student sum of the all observations we have to add all these so that is 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 divided by so total number of observations so how many observations are there student here 1 2 3 4 5 5 so five observations so c student 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 7 is 17 plus 11 is 28 so 28 divided by 5 so if you cancel with 5 5 1 5 5 5 is 25 3 5 6 5. so it is 5.6 student you can get 5.6 so the find the average of the first five prime numbers so this is the average of first five prime numbers student so see one more student so example number 2 so find the mean of first 10 natural numbers find the mean or average of find the mean of the first 10 natural numbers the first 10 the first 10 natural numbers the first 10 natural numbers so see student how can we find the mean of the first 10 natural numbers so student what are the first 10 natural numbers A solution so the first 10 natural numbers are so these are the first 10 natural numbers student so set of natural numbers and natural numbers are known as the counting numbers student so set of natural numbers n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on up to infinity so we have to select 10 natural numbers student that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 
ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन एटीन एंड ट्वेंटी सो दीज आर द फर्स्ट टू टेन इवन नंबर स्टूडेंट ही इज आस्किंग टू फाइंड एज द एवरेज ऑफ द फर्स्ट टू टेन इवन नंबर सो वॉट इज द फॉर्मुला स्टूडेंट एवरेज एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू एवरेज एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू अगर सम ऑफ द ऑल ऑब्जर्वेशन डिवाइडेड बाई टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन स्टूडेंट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द सम टू प्लस फोर प्लस सिक्स प्लस एट प्लस टेन प्लस ट्वेल्व प्लस फोर्टीन प्लस सिक्सटीन प्लस एटीन प्लस ट्वेंटी सो डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन हो मेनी स्टूडेंट टेन अगेन सो सम ऑफ ऑल ऑब्जर्वेशन डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन अगेन नाउ आई एम पेरिंग फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट नंबर स्टूडेंट सो टू प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस एटीन सिक्स प्लस सिक्सटीन एट प्लस फोर्टीन टेन प्लस ट्वेल्व सो टू प्लस ट्वेंटी इज ट्वेंटी टू फोर प्लस एटीन इज ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी टू सिक्स प्लस सिक्सटीन इज ट्वेंटी टू एट प्लस फोर्टीन इज ट्वेंटी टू टेन प्लस ट्वेल्व इज ट्वेंटी टू सो टोटली हाउ मेनी पेयर्स आर देर स्टूडेंट फाइव पेयर्स सो फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी टू यू कैन गेट स्टूडेंट वन हंड्रेड एंड टेन डिवाइडेड बाई टेन सो इफ यू कैंसिल बाई टेन यू कैन गेट इलेवन सो द एवरेज ऑफ द फर्स्ट टेन इवन नंबर इज इलेवन स्टूडेंट so like this we can find the mean of ungrouped data so very important student so you have to remember so now we have to find the mode of the ungrouped data so how can we find see student mode of the ungrouped data so mode mode of the ungrouped data student so how can we define mode the most frequent occurring observation of the data is called the mode the most frequent observation the most frequent occurring observation is known as the mode the most frequent occurring observation is known as the mode see student how can we define so the most frequent the most frequent occurring observation of the data so the most frequent occurring observation of the data is known as the mode so data is known as mode so the most frequent occurring observation of the data is known as mode see student uh, examples so find the mode of so he is asking to find find the mode of find the mode of 3 5 7 5 so he has given see student find the mode of 3 5 7 5 6 so c student how can we find the mode the most frequent occurring observation of the data is known as the mode so that is which number is repeated more times you have to select from the data so here 3 is only one time but 5 repeated two times student 7 is one time 6 is one time so but this 5 is repeated two times so hence mode of the data is equal to 5 mode of the data is equal to 5 so see student this data is called unimodal data unimodal data so see student sometimes there will be two modes and sometimes there will be no mode so here there is only one mode student hence the given data is known as unimodal data so example two student so find the mode of find the mode of find the mode of 8 3 5 8 6 7 6 so c student here he has given this data 8 3 5 8 6 7 6 so here 8 is repeated two times student so here 8 is repeated two times so 3 is only one time 5 is only one time but 6 is also repeated 
two times so six is repeated two times student eight is repeated two times but three is only one time five is only one time seven is one time so eight repeated two times and six repeated two times hence here mode is equal to mode is equal to six and eight so these two are the modes student here so this data is known as bimodal data so hence it has two modes this is known as bimodal data so since it has two modes this data is known as bimodal data student so example 3 so find the mode of find the mode of the data find the mode of the data 2 4 5 3 6 so see student here no number is repeated no number is repeated all are ones only therefore the mode is equal to mode so no mode here so no mode no mode for this data so this is called no modal data this data is called no modal data so like this we can find the mode of the ungrouped data so this you have to remember student you can get objective question from here so in the next part we will learn about finding out median of ungrouped data so that's all today's class student to get more updates you have to subscribe to my channel learn more math